Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I have another Kaiju figure showcase, uh, this time featuring Gigabrain's Jet Jaguar figure. But before we start, I just wanted to mention that yeah, Jet Jaguar is from the 1973 film Godzilla vs. Megalon. He did appear in some other comics and I think a TV show, but that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so I guess we could just get on the figure. Let me move the uh, glow version out of the way because I really wanted to talk about the uh, standard blue eye version first. Um, now this figure came out in 2005. Uh, there is a black-eyed standard version as well, um, but I think the blue-eyed version is more uh, representative of how he looked in the film because I do believe he had blue eyes. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and you can see those blue eyes there. Uh, so I think the biggest thing about this figure uh, has to be his articulation. So in terms of like a Sophie B figure, you're really never going to see that much articulation. And the articulation that you do see is normally just a byproduct of the manufacturing process. But this figure is a bit different. He has a lot of articulation points. Now, keep in mind, uh, the articulation isn't like ball joints or anything like that. Uh, it's just some slight rotation. And it is soft vinyl on soft vinyl, so it does tend to stick. Also, you got to keep in mind that this figure is fully painted. So you have two pieces of vinyl that are just rubbing against each other, and that could cause... Uh, you know, paint wear and tear. So I would be careful if you are trying to pose this guy. But again, he does have a lot of articulation points. And if you see right here, um, the feet are a little stuck. But again, that's just because it's vinyl on vinyl. Uh, if you do heat it up, it should be easier to pose. But I would caution if you were uh, trying to pose this guy in some like crazy poses or something like that. Uh, but since he is in front of the camera, uh, I will show you, or I attempt to show you, a, a decent pose. Uh, now just keep in mind, I'm not the best uh, poser, but uh, there you go, there's a little kick for you. Uh, not the greatest. Uh, anyways, so I kind of just wanted to move on to paint application. And uh, in my experience, Gigabrain is like a hit or a miss. Uh, but have no fear because for the Jet Jaguar figures, and I, I have like three variants, and each of them have excellent paint applications. So uh, really no QC issues with this figure. Uh, you see the paint is very vibrant. Uh, there's a lot of like line work on this particular figure where you got to get like the lines perfect. And I think Gigabrain nails it. I mean, uh, the red paint is where the red paint should be. The silver paint is where the silver paint should be. And I love just the contrast between like the blue and the silvers and like the red and the silvers and stuff. Uh, I think they did a great job with actual color, like the color accuracy. I think it's great for this figure. Uh, and I do love the metallic silver paint. A lot of times gold and silver are a little hard to get right on uh, vinyl figures, but I think this one looks perfect. So uh, moving on to the glow version, uh, this particular figure is recent. Uh, 2020 or 2019, I can't remember. I do know he did come out recently. And again, he's got the same articulation. His paint application is a little bit different. They kind of went with the same uh, paint colors. It's just applied differently. Uh, you see a lot of parts are left unpainted, and that's really to show off the glow of this figure, which I'll get to in a little bit, and it is amazing. Um, and I guess the biggest difference for this figure has to be the little Jet Jaguar logo on his waist. Uh, you see this one's full on red. The one in the back is blue and silver. Uh, that's pretty much the only difference. Uh, oh, oh yeah. That and the little like shin area. You see this one just like a little spritz of paint and you can see there's some um, like overspray on the knees. Uh, you see like just right there, yeah. But, uh, you know, I don't really like that. I wish that they fully painted like the other one. Not that big of a deal. I just don't understand why they just went with a little quick little spritz. Okay, now I just want to show you the glow feature. It's pretty cool. Look how bright that is. I mean, it's it's crazy bright. Uh, keep in mind that I did have studio lights uh, kind of blaring down on this guy for a little bit. So he might be a little bit more glowy than uh, you would see normally. But like, if you had like your window open, he was like in your room he would pick up, you know, absorb the light. And I think he looked really good. And you can see the Gigabrain Godzilla in the corner there. Uh, so no complaints with that. Okay, guys, now I just really wanted to show you uh, some size comparisons for other Sofubi. 
Uh, because if you didn't know, Gigabrain figures are normally like an inch taller than the standard scale sofa be. Uh, I don't know why they do it, but I actually appreciate it because the figures are a little bit bigger. And uh, I kind of like bigger figures. So first off, we have a M1 Mechagodzilla uh, with a removable head. It's a neat little feature. But again, if the head was all the way down, you can see there's about an inch difference. And the M1 is standard scale. Nice little shout out to another uh, robot figure. Uh, right here, this is an interesting one. This is my Marmot Gigan figure. Uh, it started life as a uh, lucky bag figure. Uh, it was blue and yellow, but I bought it used and the paint was all scratched up. So I ended up customizing it to be like a black Gigan. I think it looks really nice. Again, I uh, took out my uh, paint gun and did the best I could. And I think it turned out pretty good. You can see there, again, there's about an inch difference. Um, I know it looks like they're about the same size, but again, Gigan has that horn on top of his head that makes him uh, taller than he should be. And here we have a Bandai King Ghidorah from the Tohu Kaiju series. Uh, the figure came out in 1992, I believe. And for the final figure, we have a... Gigabrain 1973 Gigan. So these guys appeared together in the film, and I think they look really good together. You you can see the scale now, right? Like if we if you go back to the Marmot uh, Gigan, you can tell there's a size difference. And you know, guys, that's that's pretty much it. I I love this figure. I think this uh, is a great figure. I like all the variants. The glow variant is awesome. Uh, you can probably still get your hand on the glow variant. It might be a bit expensive uh, on the secondary market, but I highly recommend this figure if you can get a hold of it. I think there's like probably like five plus different variants now. And again, I do recommend it, guys. I love this figure. I hope it finds its way into your collection one day. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, if you guys like the video, like it. Uh, subscribe for more videos. I'm trying to pump more out. Uh, it's a bit difficult, um, you know, trying to get these in between work. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.